Oh, welcome everybody, it's me, that one guy from one place at that one time, Jgrum110, and welcome to day 122 of NHL 24 predicting NHL season. Now, yesterday we only had one game played between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Arizona Coyotes, and we got that game correct, almost down to the score, just missing a goal from Carolina to make it that, but whatever. But with that, that puts our full total prediction at 438 and 411. So with that, let's go ahead and get to our first game of the day all the way down in Boston between the Boston Bruins and the Los Angeles Kings. So we'll see you all in Boston. Welcome to TD Gardens in Boston, Massachusetts, where we have our first battle of the day between the Boston Bruins and the Los Angeles Kings. As we go down to center ice, you got to face top between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Boston and Los Angeles as both of these teams are tied at one and we're going to get a power play here for Boston. Kevin Fiala goes in the box for interference so here comes Boston on the power play and the Kings do have possession for a little bit but here comes Boston as Poshnok does a spin move and a shot and it's blocked. Marshad McAvoy takes a shot and that's blocked. Pasternak, another penalty coming up. McAvoy, Marshad, Pasternak, McAvoy takes a shot looking for the tip in. And it's not in. And they'll finally blow the whistle. Kempe will be called for tripping. Face off inside the king zone with a five on three power play for the next three seconds until overtime. And it's called offsides. Way to waste the time, ref. Face off in the neutral zone. And we'll see all of you in overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Boston Bruins and the Los Angeles Kings. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Give it down to Kopitar, to Doughty, and both get hit. And now the Bruins keep it in the zone. Pasternak takes a shot. It's not in. Pasternak takes it down, and Marshawn scores in overtime. And the Bruins win in overtime, 2-1. to one. And with that, that is it for this one. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next one down in Chicago between the Ottawa Senators and the Chicago Blackhawks. So we'll see you all in Chicago. Welcome to United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Or we have our next battle of the day between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Ottawa Senators. As we go down to center ice, you got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Ottawa and Chicago as the Blackhawks have a 3-2 lead against the Senators. So we're going to see if Ottawa can come back and score a goal here. But right now they need to win this faceoff and get it out of their zone. And they're not succeeding in that. As Felino tries to center pass it and it doesn't work. And now here comes the Senators. Kachuk with 10 seconds to go. Empty net is ready. Across down the Zoom. Who takes a shot? And Mrazic somehow gets it. Basically six seconds to go in regulation. Face off inside the Blackhawks zone. Won by Chicago. Jones just needs to hold on to it. Sitzel had it for a second. Goudreau couldn't do anything with it. And this game is over. And with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Dallas between the Edmonton Oilers and the Dallas Stars. So we'll see you all in Dallas. Welcome to American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, where we have our next battle of the day between the Edmonton Oilers and the Dallas Stars. As we go down to center ice, you got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Edmonton and Dallas as the uh, Oilers have a 9-2 lead against the Stars. And this game is pretty much over for Dallas here. So we're just going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Calgary between the Detroit Red Wings and the Calgary Flames. So see you all in Calgary. Welcome to Scotiabank Saddledome in Calgary, Alberta. Where we have our next battle of the day between the Detroit Red Wings and the Calgary Flames. As we go down to center ice, we got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final minutes of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Detroit and Calgary as the Flames have a 5-1 lead here. And this game's looking pretty much out of hand here. So with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in St. Louis between the Nashville Predators and the St. Louis Blues. So see you all in St. Louis. Welcome to Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Where we have our next battle of the day between the Nashville Predators and the St. Louis Blues. As we go down to center ice, you got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. 
Here we are with 30 seconds up between St. Louis and Nashville as the Preds have a 3-2 lead. Looking for number four here, but it's poked away. O'Reilly's still in control. He's looking for it, and he couldn't get it in. Now here comes the Blues trying to see if they can tie this game here, but it's being double teamed, and O'Reilly steals it. Nashville putting on that pressure. Another shot, and Bennington will make a save. We're going to face off inside the blue zone. St. Louis needs to win this desperately if they want to win the game, but it's head to Nashville. Predators win it. Nyquist shoots. It's blocked. And they're just going to run the timeout here, and this game is over. So with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Minnesota to the Buffalo Sabres and the Minnesota Wild. So we'll see you all in St. Paul. Welcome to Exo Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota, where we have our next battle of the day between the Buffalo Sabres and the Minnesota Wild. As we go down a center ice, get a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here are our 30 seconds up between Buffalo and Minnesota as the Sabres have a 2-0 lead against the uh, Wild. Ooh, almost a 3-0 there. And so we're going to see if Minnesota can tie this game, which I really doubt because Buffalo is really pushing on this zone here as Tage Thompson goes for a little stick poke, and it's stopped by Gustafsson. Face-off inside the Wild zone, won by Minnesota, and they're going to see if they can get it out of the zone as Kaprizov gets poke-checked, and he loses possession. And the Sabres are just going to hold on to it, try to run the timeout here as they do succeed in that, and this game is over. And so with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Tampa Bay between the Florida Panthers and the Tampa Bay Lightning. So see you all in Tampa. Welcome to Molly Arena in Tampa, Florida, where we have our next battle of the day between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Florida and Tampa Bay as the Panthers are trying to tie this game here, but Vasilevsky makes a save. So we'll get a face off in the lightning zone, see if Florida can get two goals to tie this game as they go for it and Vasilevsky makes another save. We get another face off inside the lightning zone on the other side this time and Tampa Bay will win it this time. Hedman getting pressured, get it to Radish. Trying to find someone open. Get it to Stamkos. He shoots and scores. And with that, that should do it for this game. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next one down in Montreal. Between the Washington Capitals and the Montreal Canadiens. So we'll see you all in Montreal. Welcome to Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Where we have our next battle of the day. Between the Washington Capitals and the Montreal Canadiens. As we go down to center ice, we got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Washington and Montreal as the Canadians have a 5-4 lead against the Capitals. So let's see if Washington can tie this game up here as Strom had it for a second. There here comes Wilson, and they're just pushing through this Montreal defense, but now Montreal gets possession. Gets pushed back into the zone. Across down Ovechkin. Shoots, and it's not there. <coughs> Harris has it for the Canadians. Get it down, a shot, and a goal! And with that, that's it for this game. So we're gonna go on ahead and get to our next one down in Toronto between the Anaheim Ducks and the Toronto Maple Leafs. So see you all in Toronto. Welcome to Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Or we have our next battle of the day between the Anaheim Ducks and the Toronto Maple Leafs. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Anaheim and Toronto as the Maple Leafs have a 6-3 lead against the Ducks. But here comes Johnson for Van Anaheim and nothing there. Nice gets it and they're going to race this clock out and this is pretty much out of hand for Anaheim now. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in New Jersey between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New Jersey Devils as well. Wow, look at that. Toronto scored. <coughs> so we'll see you all in East Rutherford. Welcome to what's supposed to be the MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, where we have our first game of the stadium series between the Philadelphia Flyers and the New Jersey Devils. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Philadelphia and New Jersey in our stadium series one, as the Flyers have a 4-2 lead against the Devils, but let's see if New Jersey can do something here, but here comes the Flyers, Konecki shoots and he misses the net. A race for the puck. <coughs> puck is out of New Jersey zone, but the Flyers still have control. 
It looks like they're just going to hold on to it and run this timeout just so they can win this game without any issue. It's Drysdale. Get it to Farabee. Dukoneki tries to take a shot. Doesn't work, but it doesn't matter because this game is over. And with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Vancouver between the Winnipeg Jets and the Vancouver Canucks. So we'll see you all in Vancouver. Welcome to Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, where we have our next battle of the day between the Winnipeg Jets and the Vancouver Canucks. As we go down to center ice to get a face-off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Winnipeg and Vancouver as both of these teams are not tied anymore as we get a goal for Vancouver. So now with 25 seconds left, Vancouver's in the lead by one with the score of four to three. But let's see if Winnipeg can tie this game. As Vancouver's in control, they go into the zone trying to find something open. Kuzmenko takes a shot and Hellebuck will make a save. Face off down, one by the Jets inside their own zone and here they come. Morrissey. Empty net across down to Connor. And it's a lot of ping ponging around inside that zone, and the Canucks will take out with it. Just goes around a guy, goes for the empty net. Doesn't matter though, because they win. And with that, let's go ahead and get to our next game down in Vegas between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Vegas Golden Knights. So, see you all in Vegas. Welcome to T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we have our next battle of the day between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Vegas Golden Knights. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Carolina and Vegas as the Hurricanes have a 3-2 lead, but here comes the Knights and a good save. So we'll go on ahead and get a face off inside the Hurricane zone. Vegas has that empty net still and Vegas trying to get possession of it. Banks to the side, Slavin gets it out of the zone, going in for that empty net, and he misses it. But a rebound for a Hurricane, and he gets knocked down, but he still gets possession, but the puck is behind the net. Now here comes the Golden Knights. See if, what they can do with the final five seconds. Cotter takes a shot. It doesn't go in. Race for the puck, and the time runs out. And with that, let's go ahead and get to our last game of the day down in San Jose between the Columbus Blue Jackets and the San Jose Sharks. So we'll see you all in San Jose. Welcome to SAP Center at San Jose in San Jose, California, where we have our last battle of the day between the Columbus Blue Jackets and the San Jose Sharks. As we go down to center right to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Columbus Blue Jackets and the San Jose Sharks. And uh, it's 5-1, to one, and the Sharks are most likely going to win this game. So we're... Oh, and they, even they get on a power play. Yeah, this game is over. So with that, that is it for today. Check back in tomorrow to see if these predictions are right. And with that, it is me, that one guy from home place at that one time, Jager110. And I will see all of you tomorrow.